Hi everyone, I'm Dave Flint from Flint Art Australia. Today we're going to be making or drawing a 3D spiral design. Come and join me, you don't need much to do so. All you need is something to draw with, like a marker, and something to colour in with. So, these lessons are pretty much designed for children at primary school or elementary school age. So, come along, join me, and let's get creative. Okay, boys and girls, uh, hopefully you've got everything organised now that you need. Um, well, like I said, all you need is a piece of A4 paper and uh, a black marker of some sort and uh, some either coloured pencils or crayons. Now, I'm going to use a Sharpie to start with. Uh, here, you know, the old Sharpies that we've been using at school. Um, use one of those to divide up our page here and how we start is uh, pretty simply by sort of trying to find the center of the page here like halfway along and I'm going to draw a line around about from halfway all the way down it doesn't have to be perfectly straight same again on the sides here I'm going to find around about the halfway mark and draw another line across there it doesn't have to be perfect but that's how we start, so drawing a cross on the page. Next, we go through. Now these lines can be sort of a little bit squiggly. It doesn't matter if they're not completely straight. I actually like them to be a little bit more sort of wobbly. It um, sort of gives an interesting look to our design when we're done. So um, that's how you start. Basically just getting that organized in that fashion and getting a few lines put in here. Now you can divide this page up a little bit more if you like too. So we could even go like from over here through the center. Make sure you're going through the center. Over here. That. Uh, and, and maybe another one. Sort of here. There. Another one there, coming down through here, and that should be about okay, just like that. It's quite a few lines, you don't have to do as many as that, um, it's just a little bit more work, that's all if you do. So, after that, what we do is we're going to do like almost like a spider web design where you uh, actually start adding curves to each of these sections here. So what you do is, pretty simply, now you make sure they're actually quite curved as well, these lines. Otherwise the effect is sort of lost a bit. So we want to make them really curved. And curve, curve, and another curve out there. Another one up over here. And what you do basically is just continue those all the way around the design. So go again, over here. Over here, over there, and over here. Well, that's we just chopped off a little bit, like that. And then continue them around. Now make sure that they actually follow the direction of these segments too. So you're sort of like curving it each time and turning it around a little bit. You'll see what I mean in a second when I move this over a little bit more. So I'm going to actually turn my paper now, just to make it easier to do. And I'm putting that sort of straight up and down, that section there, pointing towards the top of the page. And I'm continuing to do my curves. And it's probably best that you do do that to assist in getting these curves where they should be. Um, and that one will require a little bit more there. Turn the page a little, same thing again. So you do this all the way around until you have got those curves in place. So that takes a little bit of time to get that done. And the more that you curve these lines, the better off the 3D effect comes out. So really got to make sure they're quite curved otherwise it doesn't work too great. 
Oop, I'm just moving everything here. Curves. Good. Keep going. Just remembering to get a really good curve happening. So it's a bit like a spider web or a spider's web. Um, more of a curve in them. similar to this when we did the hand actually did a optical illusion like a 3d sort of hand and um, used a couple of different colors to create a hand that looked a bit 3d that was a few years back now this one's a little bit different it's almost like a sort of a spidery web design this one to go. Yeah. And our last one here. Oh, I'm going to somewhere mess this bit up here, I think. Yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. Still should look okay. So there we have it. Now, uh, what we want to do from here, I don't know, you put your marker back, my Sharpie, and uh, now I'm going to take my coloured implements, which I told you I was going to be using crayons, and I've got those twistable crayons, I sort of like those, they're kind of cool. Um, I'm going to use that with, actually I'm going to use yeah, blue, orange, yellow, purple a little bit of complementary color action so they're my two complementary colors there yellow and purple and another two which are orange and blue uh, I'm going to use those two there or those two sets of complementary colors those four colors so the key to this is when you start to color is that you do quite heavy coloring in on the sides like this so you press quite hard quite hard on the sides quite hard like so and then lift it off to make it lighter there and then right in the center don't put any color at all so you sort of get that look of um, a sort of a curved object now so what you do here is go to orange now to do a complementary for that blue quite hard on the sides then lift it lightly lightly and a little bit of white in the middle go back to the blue same thing again and quite hard and firm there firm there lift it lightly and not much in the middle so again down here the orange, quite firm on the sides, firm on the sides, like that, lift it to make it lighter, there, lift it lighter there, and nothing in the centre. Now you see, also got a little bit here that I need to finish off, which will be firm blue, quite hard pressure, not much pressure. Now this one you're not really going to see too much of that, so I don't have to do too much there. Um, so you can sort of see the effect that I'm going for there. So you need to do that all the way around. So uh, the next one I would do would be this. So I'd do purple, firm pressure on the outside, white in the middle. Again, no, then we go to yellow. 
firm pressure, firm pressure, light pressure, and nothing in the middle. Back to purple. Firm pressure, firm pressure, there, and nothing in the, oh sorry, the light, light pressure, the light pressure there, and nothing in the middle. Just the white paper, the white of the paper. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just stop there, and I'm actually going to speed this thing up so that you're not sitting here watching me for the next half an hour coming this in. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this activity, and I will put another video on next week. So I'll see you then. Bye for now. Flint <laughs>